I do need screws. I don't have any screws. I'm a fragile young woman. But I'm gonna double layer these two. Oh, I'm scared. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, we have another weekly vlog. I'm trying to continue to do this like vlogger thing. I don't know how long it's gonna last because I personally prefer doing travel vlogs because I feel like they're just more fun. But I'm gonna give this a try and just like vlog bits and pieces of my life along the week and see what we can pull together by the end of the week. Cause I guess that's really like the layout of weekly vlog. So today is Wednesday. So we're starting this week off 
like in the middle of the week because i don't know if you can tell by my voice that's why this intro is going to be like really really short and to the point and i don't know if i'll do a lot of talking in this vlog because i'm trying to get my voice back but whenever like i'm feeling down or my immune system is shot my throat is literally the first thing to go so i'll start getting a sore throat it'll get scratchy and that's what happened like a week ago my throat was getting scratchy it wasn't as painful as it like normally is like the whole week my friends from out of town came and so saturday i still had to go out because i had my friends i mean friday i still had to go out because i had my friends for their dinner i didn't drink but the room we were in the ac was on blast and this is why you need to listen to your friends that tell you to turn down the ac ac kills ac kills you and i wasn't even doing too much talking like i was doing moderate talking i wasn't yelling or anything either and i could just feel when i'm trying to speak it's like strained and i'm like oh like my voice was actively going away at that two hour dinner um and yeah the ac just did it the ac did it and then um i was still like talking and using my voice when i should have just like shut up and then the next day finito finito and then the next day it even got worse like i could barely like speak. sunday and monday no words were coming out and then yesterday i didn't do a lot of like talking no words were coming out either and today um i realized like when i was at the gym earlier i could like finally use my voice a bit but like i, I don't know if you can hear but it's like so i'm gonna like keep doing vocal rest um someone had said like um look up like laryngitis like she had it and it did say like when your vocal cords are inflamed and stuff so i'm hoping that's not what i had so today i actually did want to start back working out with my trainer dion so i went to the leg session today that was really great as always um i really love her workouts and i love going in person but she also has virtual so like i was literally like almost sick i almost threw up but that's what always happens when um even just like being an athlete from back in school like when i strain myself or when i'm like doing a workout and pushing myself to a limit like i was almost sick so i'm so glad that workout is over yeah i'm about to just like make breakfast i was gonna unbox like my new furniture but i'm just gonna save that till tomorrow because yeah i'm tired i can't come in be doing a lot just for this vlog but you guys will see um some like fun stuff here and there today though I think I'm gonna wash my hair and then like let my hair breathe. Normally I'll wash it and like get it rebraided, redone. But um, last time I blow dried my hair, it actually didn't look like that bad when I tied it in a bun. So I'm just gonna like, while I'm sick and recuperating, like just like let my hair breathe for two days. Yeah. And also probably TMI, but it's best I like, I'm glad I'm like staying in as well. Cause I'm not gonna show you guys, but i'm growing out my underarms because i want to get them waxed and if you've been shaving you can't just like get a wax after um like a few days to a week sometimes even a week might not be enough because there's not enough hair so she told me to wait and come back so hopefully by friday it'll have been like a week plus so yeah okay well i will see you guys tomorrow bye guys happy wednesday
my hair looks a little bit crazy. You guys look a little bit like there's some oil on the screen. Um, okay, so I'm all ready to go. Today is Saturday. Um, I had a pretty, I had a really like easy, slow morning. I got an important phone call, so I like pushed everything a little bit back. But I just had breakfast today. You all saw that. That breakfast has actually been like helping me eat breakfast because it's so easy and i'm not a breakfast fan i'm not a breakfast fan um but right now i'm getting ready to go to a friend not a friend's brunch a brunch it's this like african liquor i'm gonna put it up on the screen i saw my friend if he post it i'm out of breath running around trying to get this camera is this at the top of Rocksteady? Oh, that's so cute. And I'm all ready to go. As you guys can tell, my voice is back. I was just like on voice rest and stuff for the past few days. It's coming back now. I just wanted to show you guys my outfit really cute before we get to brunch because that's it really cute. Really quick before we get to brunch because it's super cute. Um, and this is actually from PLT. And it's this pinstripe um pants plus this corset top i think it's like a diesel um dupe i'll put the item codes and like the link down below in the description but it's so cute and i you guys know i'm 5'1 and the fact that these pants like this fit let me show you guys uh, literally so cool like they're like dragging on the ground a little bit but i really like this for my height i really gotta um, post a tiktok and post my pictures tomorrow put the girls on and the whole reason i wanted to go was like to get out the house and also um what's it called to get out of the house and also we take content pictures because i'm a little bit behind since i've been sick um i don't want to do too much talking because i gotta go and i'm deciding to drive today so that means like i'm literally gonna only have like one glass of liquor unless i like leave my car at someone else's place but i'm gonna double layer these two i'm gonna start off with like a vanilla base this is kaoli vanilla this smells so good um my cousin actually got this for my birthday i put it in like my birthday wish list and i did not know it smelled this expensive because i'm not a fan of just like pure vanilla because sometimes like scents that have like that resemble like brown sugar kind of make me want to throw up <laughs> um but i really like this one a lot so i'm gonna put that one first it's still like um, really light but it smells rich and then this is the ysl black opium i was actually gifted this by um ysl beauty and i really love this scent for like a night out Ooh, night out sexy and it's like not night but it's 5 p.m and i feel like my outfit gives like it's not cutesy it's sexy grown woman vibe so yeah i really wish i had a silver clutch i need to look into buying that but i just felt like a black bag which is kind of eh so i went with like a pop of color um and then accessories have on some silver studs and no necklace today because i felt like it would kind of clash with the fit like my neck looks kind of bare but i feel like my other jewelry is kind of making up for it i have on my jbw watch the crystal and then some like silver plain rings not diamonds so like i'm not trying to do too much i want the outfit to speak for itself and i feel like this looks really cute and classy um i'm gonna come back and do like a tiktok or should i just do it now before i leave i'm late to the brunch anyways but yeah okay i'll see you guys in a bit at rocksteady
bar. The restaurant will still be open, so if you want to hang, chill, cash is on the ones and twos for a few. But I really want to appreciate and thank you all for coming out, celebrating with me. We got three more of these brunches. I'm going to send y'all the dates of it right for all of the things. But thank you so much. Bless y'all. And have a great weekend. Let's go. So I just finished at like brunch. I don't know what to call it. I had like dinner technically because i ordered off the dinner menu i had the like jerk lamb chops or something jerk lamb chop lamb lamb egg roll something like that i just wanted something bite-sized and i only finished two and i packed two to go um right now it's 6 16 so i was only in there for like whoa less than an hour low-key yeah because i got here at 5 20. my friend if he where did he say he was going somewhere he said he was going to some pop-up day party and then social club atlanta it's social club is ringing a bell to me like my friend jazz used to go and post it on saturdays right now it's 6 15 which is pretty early but i'm trying to just like go to like either an hotel and either a hotel or like an apartment in midtown and hope i run into someone i'm like oh hey can you like snap a few quick pics of me because like i have the settings on my camera and everything like that like all someone ooh, all someone has to do is just like hit the flash so that's what i'm gonna try and do and then like go to social club early but i don't want to drive my car so like another thing i could do is just like drive home have mock to take my pics and then take an uber to social club like i only had that one lemon drop in there but I, like i know myself it's looking like if i go to social club i might want to drink like a little bit more and i'm not like yeah drinking and driving is like a no so i'm trying to like think and the but the most important thing is my pictures because like this is for my um plt sponsorship so i need to get that done so i'm gonna think and then like update you guys whenever like i know or what i'm thinking this brunch was like really cute and everyone was dressed like really nicely i came late so there wasn't like a lot of people but i feel like the next time she does it it's gonna be really nice like i've never been to rock steady in the daytime and um i really like the music of course because dj cash he does bomba tuesdays but like just being there with like your girls dressed up in the daytime like no that's gonna be so lit so i'm definitely gonna come to the next one the biab gin i didn't have it straight but in my lemon drop it was good but right now i'm about to figure out if i'm hope i'm not blocking this car yeah so i'm gonna figure out what i need to figure out about this picture and then i'll like text you guys not text you guys y'all i can't think i'm trying to like multitask and it's not working i'll catch up with you guys i'll catch up with you guys when i decide what it is i'm gonna do I was literally about to tell you guys I made it to downtown and I'm scared. And do you hear the sirens? Man oh man, brother. Man oh man. Man oh man. Man oh man. Oh, I'm scared. Downtown Atlanta? Huh? This does not seem like a safe environment. The environment does not seem safe. The area just looks rough. Ambulance. Ambulance. Oh. Oh. I mean, look at ambulance. Um, ambulances drive past my apartment building. That's not the thing. But downtown Atlanta is so scary. It looks so rough here. I took um Aisha here last time. Um, uh, it was that time I didn't vlog. We came to M Bar, which is such a nice place. Um, DJ Cash is like lounge that he opened over here but this area is rough meanwhile i think there's like a school nearby nearby i think georgia state is nearby here but like you would think that a downtown is like nicer but i feel like atlanta's midtown is way nicer than downtown downtown is like um kind of like run down I, I remember like when i came here for my friend's birthday before i lived here this must have been like th four years ago now maybe um we like booked our hotel in downtown atlanta thinking it was supposed to be nice and it just yeah no so i'm a little bit scared um i'm parking my car in like a lot out in the open i'm not gonna park in like the street parking no way um i was gonna look for like a covered lounge but I, not covered lounge a covered parking area but i honestly feel like that's worse because it's not out in the open um i can see a parking attendant i think over on that side but i feel like parking in like out in the open right here is nice and i think people who parked in this lot are going to the event and i just saw it looks like it's outside up on a rooftop so we'll see how long we'll stay here depending on i'm planning only to have one drink depending on um how that goes like if i have two drinks i'm 
yeah i'm gonna have to stay longer in order to like let the liquor get out of my system like i'm completely like don't even have the buzz anymore because i was literally gone for an hour it's 7 18 now exactly an hour from when i last why do you hear gospel oh my gosh this might be an r&b thing to be honest i might not be able to last more than 30 minutes i hate r and i'm oh so about my pictures i ended up driving to a scent in midtown like this apartment building that my friend used to live in and like i parked and ha um people were walking out when i was walking in so i didn't have to like wait or anything but then i went downstairs like all nice and friendly like asking the like lady who works at the front desk oh do you think you could help me take a quick picture she was like oh i'm sorry i can't do that i said ah okay i was like yeah i was like all right and then so i'm just like standing there on my phone she's like are you waiting for someone i was like yeah my friend meanwhile my friend first of all she's in jamaica but i was trying to see if one of her like neighbors could take it but the guy she knew moved out so like um i was just waiting by the elevator and um i just asked this guy can you take my pictures and he actually did a decent job so that's what we're working with at least i got those i'm i was looking for my camera <laughs> you guys are right here I'm taking my camera in with me i would have left it in the car but heck no so if they take anything from my car the most they would do is break a window and take like a tripod yeah there's nothing in here um i'm gonna go check out social club before it gets too packed because um i don't have a ticket and my friend iffy's not here so i'm just gonna probably pay door price i don't know when is the last time i've paid to like get into somewhere but we're gonna do it we're gonna see i don't know i'm probably gonna be overdressed uh, this is just all sounding like not a good idea but i'm just gonna have one drink and i'll come back and update you guys and we'll see oh i like this song though t-pain Oh, you do. Is this you pain? You do. You before somebody come in here and stream with me. Let me put my window up, y'all. I'm scared. Oh, I feel like I'm mostly more scared because I'm alone. I'm a fragile young woman. I should start bringing my pepper spray, but they'll probably take that to do anyways. All right, I'll talk to y'all. Bye. place i've been to um i felt like it was like oh this is a little bit high <laughs> um i felt like when i first walked in people looked a bit young but i feel like it was a mixed crowd it wasn't really i don't know i was gonna say not too many people over 30 but you know black don't crack so like that's kind of hard to tell but it just seemed like young but i'm young too in a way like i'm 26 but i don't know when more people started coming it got better but i paid 60 to get in there because First of all, I didn't buy a ticket. Um, my friend Ify only told me about it when I was at the Rocksteady brunch. So at the door, by the time I got there, it was like 7, 20, 7, 30. And they're like 60 at the door. I didn't even have time to say, but but uh, uh, my friend, I just said, okay, let me just do the cash app. And 60 is definitely like too much to pay for going up there. But I'm like, let me, I'm gonna just write it off on my taxes because it's like a vlogged um, thing. 
or whatever but like i had a decent time i'm glad i saw kate there um because she was she knows nani the host so like i was just like with them uh i met two other girls and they were really really friendly so a decent time literally it's 9 45 p.m super early for a saturday night to get back home but that's a little bit chilly oh the air is not even on but this, i feel it blowing on me that's what i like about going to day events like during the weekend because that, that used to never be me i love going out at nighttime taking nighttime pics i think when was it it was it before my birthday i don't know but just going out in the daytime and then i think i went to bed by nine and i was so fine in the morning by like 9 a.m and i was like oh i went out last um i went out the day before but i'm still fine no no hangover da, da, da. i think i ate too late it just like lets you reset and like not waste a full day being so like down and like dead from your hangover because like imagine i started like my night out i if i came back like this like basically almost over like i could and at like 2 a.m i'd still go to sleep wake up fine tomorrow but like it's nine i would get like so many hours of sleep if i went to sleep now like day thing i need to start doing more like day party things and taking more daytime pictures but yeah i think i told you guys about my pictures how i took them i actually love this fit so much i'm gonna save it for like another brunch i would wear this I'm trying to like make a mirror i would definitely wear this to like a date night too like this is be so cute at dinner i love this fit um right now it's like i said 9 45 um i feel like I, you guys can feel like i'm all you guys can sense that i'm all over the place i'm gonna go out i think i'm gonna wake up at 11 i'm gonna eat the rest of my egg rolls drink more water take a nap for an hour wake up at 11 because my friend re um she like works and then she doesn't get off till like 10 um 11 she does want to go out she gets off this is the earliest i feel like she's ever gotten off she usually gets off at 12 a.m she's getting off at 10 and she has to go back home and do her makeup so i'm gonna nap in the meantime wake up change my outfit take more pics because again i have plt content to post and i'm gonna go out again because i feel like in the mood i am tired but it's like girl you need the pictures anyway um i yeah i can do it <laughs> let's see i'm gonna wake up at 11 let's see and this vlog is gonna be short guys i'm gonna explain this why am i talking right now okay i'll see y'all i'll see you guys in a second but to me i'll see me all done up in an hour all right guys so i'm alive it's 11 30 it's 11 47 um I, I woke up at 11 as promised um me and brie me and Bree are about to go to Experience Lounge. Um, I'm just getting ready because she was already ready and I don't want her to like, um, what's it called, be there by herself. So I'm gonna go, I should bring my lash boot because this is not looking right. My boot is downstairs right now. I'm not wearing my outfit for pictures. I just put on something chill because like, it's a place to watch the fight and I think boom boom is after, I don't know y'all. But I'm about to go, I'll catch up with you guys in the morning and tell you how my night went. Good night. <laughs> Good afternoon, guys. Um, it is 4.57 p.m., 5 o'clock, and I just want to give you guys a little bit of a rundown, I think, what happened yesterday, and I think I was trying to tell you guys how, I think the day before, that I got my voice back. So my voice was gone for literally, I think, almost four to five days. It came back, like, maybe, like, Thursday. Yeah, like, Thursday it was starting to come back, but I stayed at home Friday. I didn't feel like going out or doing anything and then you guys saw my saturday yesterday um everyone was like out because of some fight i don't know who was fighting who but some like big boxing match so when we got to like experience lounge um our friend didn't book a table there because it was so packed so we went to boom boom and um that was nice i liked it in there i was mistaking boom boom for lions i like boom boom because it's connected to little lagos restaurant and it's like actually i feel like it's nicer in there and i like how you can walk between the two sides um so that's what we did and then we ended up at 11 45 and i don't really like to go to like american clubs anymore like more so like black american clubs because i feel like they're just a little bit not even a little bit it's dangerous it's dangerous don't mind everything in the back like i'm about to like unbox and do all this stuff but yeah so it's, it's just dangerous and 
yeah so number one i'm scared i'm scared that violence may occur at any moment um because people just like get like so like rowdy like afterwards and like any little thing people can get mad at that's why i really like the events and stuff that i've been going to like the black events that i've been showing you guys that like my friends throw like everyone is super kind it's always like a vibe everything like that and that brings me into point number two of why i don't like going to american clubs anymore the service Ugh. The waitresses more often than not are so rude and I feel like they're especially rude to women because like when you are going out to those places it's mostly like men that are buying the tables and the sections and stuff like that and spending the money and it's like even when we order stuff and I'm like paying with my own money if gratuity is already there I'm not going to tip unless like I am like tip extra unless i'm experiencing like top-notch quality service and it's like some of them don't even deserve that 20 percent that's already there and i feel like that's why they act that way because it's like they're already gonna get their tip no matter what they do so they don't have to like be nice to you and it's just like it's just not no yeah and um that's you see why all these places keep closing down like literally in an atl um like lounges and bars like they close down and open so fast like because like either bad customer service violence is happening um they're overcharging and stuff and then like nobody wants to go anywhere it's just like a whole yeah yeah i'm sick of that so upscale place me lounge me african lounge me yeah i'm just gonna stay out of those places because i stay out of them for a reason but <laughs> funny at 11 45 so i was already like a little bit like i wouldn't say upset but it rubbed me the wrong way like our waitress like she just had like a stink face like when i was trying to order food so i ordered food once already paid and she sent it and mind you i'm asking her like so can you pay in cash app and she was like no because i didn't i don't really like to give my cards at those places either because like they take it to the back they're not like swiping it in front of you like they have your card for forever um but i saw like them some other waitresses doing cash app um for other guests or whatever but she was like no so i was like, okay i got my card anyway gave her my card so um my friend if he had saw that me and brie had ordered food he was like oh why didn't you tell me you guys wanted to order so now he wants to order so now i'm trying to find the waitress again and the thing is like they're not constantly checking up on us like i have to go find another waitress to go tell our waitress that to come on so like they, by this time like it's already like 2 20 or something like that and i already asked to make sure the kitchen wasn't closed they said it wasn't but that wasn't our waitress and you cannot order from someone else they have to send your waitress to our table so i tapped this one girl she was so friendly she was like let me tell her so she texted her and i could have sworn she asked me what i wanted and i told her um two orders of chicken wings so she said so she could tell our waitress so why does our waitress come back not only 20 minutes later and then she's like i was like yeah we're trying to order food she's like well, you ordered food already i said like i don't know if she thought like i was drunk or like i'm this or i'm dumb like okay like so once someone orders food they can't order food again i'm like yeah i know i'm trying to order food again um but at this point like when she said that to me like i'm already like like getting a little bit annoyed because sorry i just saw the biggest b ever and she was like oh okay well now i need to go check if the kitchen is closed i'm like girl you what time i'm like okay what time is the kitchen closed 2 40 and she's showing me the text i'm like you your co-workers or whatever texted you 20 minutes ago to come so we can order food you're coming when the kitchen is closed to come and um see what we need so i went to go talk to the girl that i was already talking to i was like yeah now she's trying to tell me that the kitchen is closed but like i um asked you guys to go get her a while ago and she was like yeah um i didn't want to step on anyone's toes because she would have taken my order but like in that kind of environment again i don't know if that's how it is in like all clubs like when you have a table you have a table but like i have never seen like such ferocity for is that the word ferocity just like aggressiveness with girls like having tables so much as like when i came to atlanta and like my friend um mary used to work at one of these lounges and like girls will get so upset um if you like take their table or like even help out in a way because they don't want you to get any of that tip basically so yeah so i go talk to the other girl she ended up actually like being nigerian so she places my order and whatever and i went and go took care of that because like in my head i'm like no way was i um appropriately appropriately asking for food at the right time like i didn't come at like 3 a.m asking can i reorder food like i made sure the kitchen was open before i started trying to find 
our service because i'm like no way it would have been different if i tried to order food at 2 40 and they're like oh the kitchen is closed no i tried to order it 20 30 minutes ago so i was already like i got up and i crossed over the section and while i'm getting out of the section this girl i kid you not is like falling and i'm trying to catch her and like i have done that before too like even on i think where was i going the airport train and atl this old man was like falling and i was gonna tell him sir you gotta grab onto the pole we're on a train but he was falling and i'm gonna lean forward to catch someone i work out i go to the gym like i can brace myself and i'd rather someone like not fall or i like help them not to fall so like i know my own strength so as she's falling um, i'm trying to grab her but i can't get her in time so i'm trying to help her up but she's still not getting up i kid you not like so i was already angry from like that waitress trying to tell me like oh didn't you order food already and now the kitchen is closed why did i like pick this girl up with one hand like that's like i literally was like in squat formation and i grabbed her like arm right here and like lift her up with one hand she didn't have her shoe on so like i'm holding her and i grab her shoe and her other shoe and put it on her foot and i'm like no no, no it's okay and she's like thanking me or anything and i'm just like yeah 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 you're good because like first of all like i no one should ever be embarrassed of falling like being too drunk like um i've done it before so it wasn't like a big deal either and i'm not too above anything to help anyone who ever falls down like no matter what level i get to um yeah so then that whole thing happened i go get the food order order the food through the nice lady and so i come back and it's so funny because she told me like oh are you angry like i'm actually a subscriber da, da, da. so that was just that little like um funny exchange or whatever and i just thought it was funny because sometimes my friends call me the incredible hulk because <laughs> i don't look like i'm able to like lift anyone up but like this one time um we went out and i like carried my friend esther but not like on my back or anything i like scooped her up like this and <laughs> bouncing around my dad had some alcohol in my system that day too but it's just like it's just funny um yeah so that was 1.5 then came back home regretted that but um yeah so now we're here today it's sunday um i've just been like running a few errands i got my eyebrows threaded i don't know if you guys can tell i get them done at wax thread and scissors and buckhead and the lady i see is mira but nancy does a good job as well i was going to nancy for a while and then i went to mira two weeks ago and i was like hold on wait a minute like look at this um this hair is like growing back so we had to like leave a little bit under but like do you see how crisp that is i was blessed with thick eyebrows though so that's how i'm able to like get a good shape and then um what else did i do i just went to home goods because i'm actually about to clean my freaking patio so i can place my new chair i just don't want to put it in the like the dust over there and i actually bought a few like pieces from home goods so we're gonna like unbox all my new furniture from homery and they are a furniture shopping store if you watch my last vlog they sent me like my little vanity stool and i was supposed to get all four pieces but these were the ones that were like super popular and out of stock so i had to wait a bit longer but they have a 48 hours like dispatch so like your stuff will dispatch within 48 hours and then it takes about like five to seven days to get to you and you can like track everything and they always package their items really really well i'm sure i'm gonna have um a time trying to unbox these so right now we're gonna go ahead and clean off the patio first and foremost before we can even get started my friend was telling me to get like a brush from home depot but mind you home depot is like 15 minutes from here which is not that far but home goods is three minutes and i was already there sorry for the noise in the back so this is all i could get at home goods i really wanted a longer broom i should have just to be honest got the tall broom it didn't come with the dustpan and it was rainbow and i don't want a rainbow broom in my house so i got this i'm gonna have to be like down low my back is gonna be aching and then this they don't have they didn't have a mop either this is a toilet scrubber brush and i don't have a bucket Ugh. I don't have i'm just gonna do the best that i can and then um windex because i'm gonna wipe down these windows and then i'm gonna mix hot water and fabulosa and probably some dawn dish soap let me show you guys like how nasty it is out here because of like the wind and stuff i don't know if you guys can see but these like little bugs and stuff they have to go like obviously it's outside so bugs are gonna come thankful that these don't get into my house but these little you guys can't even see Ugh. i'm gonna gag editing this back little little roly little caterpillar bugs are all over the freaking balcony disgusting and then i'm gonna have to get like spider whip oh just gross but yeah so i actually have a fairly large balcony 
not even fair yeah definitely a really long balcony and i never really use this space and i've lived here for two years which is insane but you guys can just see how dirty it is and dusty because um it's outside the wind so i really just want to like try and sweep it um to be honest like mopping it with that little thing i got is gonna be like a headache and i don't want to like let me turn this around i'm obviously i feel like i'm obviously not allowed to like pour water down because like people live below me so i'm not able to like get a hose and pressure wash but it's like when it rains water gets down but but i think like our balconies low-key don't like they jut out a little bit to where like they jut out to where it wouldn't drip on anyone it would just drip down but I don't want to get in trouble by the leasing office. All right, so I'm just going to try and sweep. I'm going to set you guys up and yeah, we're just going to see what we can do. And if Op is family to Michelle, that's just sad. And she need to get away from her. She's obviously taking advantage of this woman because one, there's some sort of mental disorder or
giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. Are you jealous, ugly bitches? tired of cleaning up there and it's not looking good i should have just swept and left it at that but it was just so dirty to me because of all like the dust so i tried to like scrub it but like i think the problem is like i'm using a cauldron and it's like plastic so the water was leaking out so i can't like keep changing the water to keep like going back over it but i feel like i just need like a regular mop so i'm gonna let it dry and just like unbox and put together my coffee table and show you guys my new bench and then we'll try and like put the balcony stuff out there in about 30 minutes after it dries because look at this it's just a soapy mess maybe every year I should just bring one more round of water but it looks like some of the areas are like drying hopefully it dries better oh Loki, it is looking a bit better all right so this right here is my current coffee table and it actually happens to be from homery as well so i'm gonna take the pieces out of the boxes right here and put them here i'm not gonna put the box on my carpet because they're a little bit dusty and dirty so i'm gonna cut them out and bring the pieces right here Ooh, i look a mess i have to go Ew, my feet are probably so dirty from cleaning this ground outside. I can't wait to take a shower. I just feel so dusty. I have to go wash my hands again because, like I said, that package was dirty. And this is a all, this is an all-white coffee table, so I don't want it to get, like, um, stained or anything. So I think I'm going to take out the legs first because I feel like this is the top. Hopefully, we can fit this all in this vlog because... Um, I really wanted to show you all my new furniture pieces in this vlog. I'm honestly tired of unboxing furniture, but who am I to complain because this was all gifted to me by Homery. So I am really grateful. It's just their packaging is literally insane. Like every little thing is, <laughs> every little thing is, um, in a piece of tape. Oh, let me be careful. This is gonna get everywhere on the carpet. Oh, boy. Just by taking it out, I can already see that this is gonna be so low. Is it on two legs? Guys, I'm literally not seeing any instructions, so let's hope that it's in the big box, because girl, I don't have a clue in the world how to put this together. Okay. I don't 
don't know if I'm like missing a piece or what. Like, literally it's blank here, but there are holes in this. And I wish it came with instructions, but these don't even like line up. Is this a map? Like, I'm sure I'm not supposed to drill holes into this. Oh, installation guy. Dang, why didn't they put that up here before? They didn't give me. I do need screws. I don't have any screws. Furbish one. Guys, I need to email them. I'm just going to, like, place this here and then um, figure it out later because I can't just sit here and this doesn't look like what's it called. So I'm just going to place these here and in four and then. Ooh. Whoa, this is it kind of works. It should be set a little bit back, but I'm just gonna do that later. It doesn't even feel like it would move that much. I wonder if these just go under it because I did not get screws. But this is what it looks like, guys. I feel like it does match the vibe of my place because like my couch really is um, super low anyways. So it's gonna go nice right there. Um, I just don't want as much like gold finishes. So I'm going to go outside is drying. And I, um, what's it called? I'm posting this vlog tomorrow. So if you guys have this coffee table and you know how to put it together, definitely comment down below so I can put it together. Because why do I have these and no screws? And the instructions just look like, like the legs look totally different. So... I don't know. I really wanted to show you guys that table because I was so excited about it, but now I don't even know how to put it together. I'm going to go ahead and set up my chair because the ground is almost done drying. <sighs> I look like I haven't slept for 40 days and 40 nights. I look dead. Like, I literally look so tired. Like, first of all, this balcony took me out. And the fact that I can't figure out how to put this freaking coffee table together is sending me into orbit so this is what this is what the balcony is looking like i'd say it looks like 80 percent better it's just like where there's like too much water you see like the dry spot but i'm putting like a rug there anyways and i'm gonna go ahead and just put the rug down because i don't give a heck i'm just gonna give it like one final sweep and dusting and then let's start putting in our new
I'm so tired. That chair is honestly so stunning. I don't know if like one of the arms, I don't know if you could see. I don't know if like in the truck they put something heavy on top of it. But that thing is like like metal or iron. I tried to sit on the other side of the arm and that wouldn't even go down. So I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or not. But I really love the um, natural and white detailing. Like I'm so scared of how dirty it's going to get. But the covers, the covers on the cushions are... Um, unzippable so i will be like putting it in the washing machine i just gotta add more stuff to that area and that chair is actually so big like two people can sit on it so i'll be able to curl up and like um drink wine out there like be on my laptop and stuff this is about to upset me so i need to take this downstairs throw it away like i rechecked this three times there were no screws in it um, I was going to come back after I get ready to go um, to mash up, but I'm honestly so tired. So I'm just going to eat and um, start getting ready and everything. And I will see you guys in my new vlog starting like this following week where I'll show you guys my new bench. And hopefully I'll have an update on this coffee table. I just cannot unbox another piece of furniture right now. Like you guys saw like even that chair had so much wrapping on it. But thank you guys so much for watching another vlog of mine. Um hopefully this wasn't so bright. Yeah. There we go. My exposure was so high, my bad. But hopefully this wasn't um too boring, didn't do too much cuz I was too si like I was sick this week so I didn't do too much, but this coming up, this week coming up should be really really fun. Revolve is coming into town and they invited me for a brand ambassador dinner, so I'm super excited about that. Um I'll talk to you guys about that in the next vlog. So if you want to keep up with my life, make sure you guys subscribe, thumbs up this video. I'm trying to get all of my videos to get at least 3k likes even my ones that don't have like as many views because it just like helps engagement it lets people it lets youtube know that you like my content you want to see more of it and hopefully it'll show up more on your recommended page so make sure you guys are doing that love you guys so much and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye guys